Alright, for those of you who are just getting started and you're wondering what the Wheel of Fate is, you can get the tokens to use the Wheel of Fate by killing this stalker right here. He respawns very often because there's going to be a lot of people trying to kill him. You'll actually have a quest to kill this guy. I believe it's just a normal quest. So, as you see, he dies, he drops this huge chest. Pick it up, it says Stalker Essence, and that's what you're using to spin the Wheel of Fate. So, let's go back to the Wheel of Fate. Alright, now if you look, when I'm looking at the Wheel of Fate, it'll say in this bottom right hand corner if someone's not spinning it, that it's a stalker wheel, and if you haven't killed the boss before, he will pop up on the map, he'll be right there, it'll be like a little demon looking icon, and that's how you know who you need to kill for getting the essence that matches the wheel you're trying to spin. Um, it's the same for everywhere, like out all the way in the Cinderlands, there's a diva. There's like one called the diva wheel. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it'd be right over here in this green area, there's a pond. And there's a diva wheel, and then there's a giant stone golden diva boss that's a world boss, everyone kills him, and it drops diva essence for the diva wheel. And as you can see, I don't know, no one's here, it says Wheel of Fate. You can earn rewards by using the essence of the stalker with this Wheel of Fate. And we just killed that boss. And there we go, we spin the wheel. They usually give you soul shields and weapons. And sometimes it'll give you the weapon that you need to level up your weapon. So, let's go over here. Oh, they already killed him. So, now that he's dead, you can stay here and just keep killing him over and over and spinning the wheel until you get what you want. So that's how it works. Alright, thanks for watching.